Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to add, drop, or rename a parameter in SSRS report. So let's go to the SSMS. So take a look on the query. This is the query we are going to use for our report. So this has some record sale person, first name, last name, and other records. And we will be using some parameter. We can make use of any field and create a parameter out of that. So let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. Here in the SSRS uh, project, uh, we have to have some uh, shared data source or uh, we have to create the embedded data source. Uh, I prefer shared data sources because uh, if you are creating multiple reports, uh, they are pointing to the same databases. Why not use uh, the same uh, shared data source? Uh, if uh, you are creating a report uh, in each of the report is uh, just pointing to the one database and uh, you don't feel like, okay, any other report will be using that data source then maybe okay create an embedded one but I still recommend creating a shared one so now go to the report and add and then a new item go to report and here we have to provide some name so we are gonna say okay uh, parameter just uh, add remove rename add and now empty report is created we have to go ahead and use the shared data source or create the embedded one so here in the report uh, we have a data sources tab add data source and uh, let's provide some name we call it ds uh, sales uh, and we will be making a uh, use of a shared data source so hit a uh, uh, drop down and select the shared data source next part uh, we will be using a query to create our data set data set is the result set or the record set returned by the query we call this one d set region or actually sorry d set total sale and let's uh, have this one as embedded because none of other report is going to use the same result set so we are selecting data source here paste our query now once uh, you have the query here uh, you can go ahead and create the parameters uh, to create a single value parameter we have to say where uh, and uh, this is where we are going to use a uh, uh, let's say region region that's our field name equal to at the rate region uh, name that's uh, the parameter name we have uh, created here next part uh, what we want to do we want to say and uh, our country in uh, and we have parentheses at the rate country name now these are the two parameters one is single value parameter and this is multi value as we are using in clause here so we are good we have created two parameters hit ok now we can go ahead and insert a table and then bring some fields here to see our report so let me bring a few of them and let's bring a region and country now we are all good here delete let's uh, take a look on the report and uh, give some background color at least it will look like a report and now we are all good here I preview the report so now what happened we have to have a region name and a country name and uh, even we have a used uh, in clause for country name it's not given us different uh, uh, drop down or anything it is uh, still the same and uh, here we can go ahead and provide Asia region and in Asia we have Pakistan and we have India so let's uh, try for Pakistan first and then we'll add India to it now as it is multi value we we can provide multiple values right that's what our understanding is so we say India but now it's not returning us anything so these values are not uh, really passed uh, as a multi-value to the report uh, they will be just passing one string and that parameter is not able to handle uh, this uh, entire string so if we'll pass or tell uh, the report parameter it is multi-value then if we we'll go ahead and provide it it will uh, use them as multi-value so let's uh, cancel this out go to the design uh, and here in the parameter we have to tell uh, okay this uh, country name is multi-value so we have to go ahead and uh, say parameter properties and here we'll say allow multiple values so that's the way to go now if we preview our report uh, we can provide any name here and if you notice here uh, the drop down or the text box is changed now we can say Pakistan and we can say India and uh, let's uh, take a look what it returns us now it is returning us uh, records from India and Pakistan 
Now, this is truly working. Uh, I have created a lot of uh, videos uh, how to make the drop down for single value and uh, multiple values. Uh, you can go ahead and take a look. Uh, now, in the first part, we learn uh, how to add those uh, parameters. Uh, second part, uh, I want to go ahead and change the name of this country name parameter. I don't like the country name parameter. I, I want to, to make this one exactly the same name of my my field. Uh, so let's go back here. And now, instead of country name here, I want just the country. That will match exactly with my field. So that's country. And that's uh, acceptable. There is nothing wrong to have the same name uh, of your parameter what you have in the field. So hit OK. Now, what you see here, we see here three parameters are created. Now country name is still uh, stuck there. It's not deleted. If you remember here, we are not using this one anymore. So we don't have country name here. But uh, in the report, the country name is still uh, there. So if we preview our report uh, and uh, we are here, we will be providing Asia. And then uh, here we have to provide the country name. Sorry, this one, remember this one is uh, gone. So let's say we don't do anything here. And here we say Pakistan. Still we have to go and in the country and tell like, okay, this is multi-value. But even we don't do that, we can provide single value to test it. Here, if we are try to preview the report, it is asking, please enter value for parameter country name. The parameter cannot be blank, fine. So I even don't have this parameter anymore in data sets. It's still stuck there. So even I will say, I don't like you. Simple. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to write here. But anything, uh, if I write anything here, it's not even considering this value because it's not used for that data set. Uh, and but it's, it is still available there. Um, so that's the second part, remember, of the video we are saying, okay, adding a parameter, we added, then we renamed. So with the renaming, the old one is going to stuck there, and the new one will be added. So now we go back and delete it. So this is the way you right click here and say delete. And this delete, okay. And now you preview your report. Now you have region name and country. And still you will have to go back to the country and make it a multi-value parameter. So lesson learned from here if you are go, uh, gonna go ahead and uh, uh, rename your parameter they are not going to be deleted from here so let's go back one more time now I felt that okay country is not really a parameter I want I want only region name that's fine with me we don't want to have a country name a country anymore so our report we are making some modification and only the parameter we want in region now hit okay and uh, let's preview the report now if we preview the report, uh, you still see country stuck there. Country is available, even though we have removed from the data set. Uh, so if I go ahead and say Asia region uh, and uh, try to view my report, uh, it is saying, oh, provide the value for country. You totally forgot. We did not forget, uh, but uh, this parameter is not uh, in use anymore but it is stuck there so we have to manually go ahead and delete it so we have even here you can provide anything that value will not be really used so if you provide anything that's not considered uh, by any query because it's not used in the query so we are getting any results uh, for asia region uh, but this country is not uh, playing any role now we go to preview and uh, sorry design and delete this uh, parameter so they, these are the lessons to learn. When you are working with the parameters, uh, you be careful uh, with the, when you make changes uh, to the um, parameter name or you delete or uh, let's say you add some parameters. So always take a look on the properties and here under parameters, make sure any parameter you are not using, using delete them and uh, uh, make sure uh, other part of uh, they are in sync and uh, if they're multi-value you have set the properties very well and uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video